Hey there guys, and welcome back to another Trove Character Spotlight. This uh, spotlight has been on my channel for a couple of weeks now, but I decided to redo it. I wasn't happy with how the video turned out, and if I am honest, I wish I had never put the original video up live. There is a link in the description if you want to see the original video, but uh, currently this is the video that's replacing it. Anyways, with that said, I wanted to get straight into this and do a much shorter, much more concise character spotlight if I could. So let's get right into it. So this is the Neon Ninja. This class was added into the Evolve, uh, no Evolve, into the Trove closed beta when it entered closed beta. Now it is in now it is currently in open beta. And it's an interesting character to say the most of it. So we'll get straight into the skills here. So the passive for the ninja is Shining Stars, which is as you get hit, you gain the shuriken. You gain shurikens you can throw while in stealth mode. You activate stealth mode by using your mouse 2, which is here. Engage stealth mode. Shadow Flip. You then at level 3 unlock Stasis Blade, which is fly forward and lock your enemies in place. This is a much better version of the Knight's um, charge ability. For instance, the knight has a charge ability, but this actually locks them in place. So if you are having trouble with ranged enemies, then you can not only fly towards them like the knight, but you can also lock them in place and just hit the holy hell out of them. And then at level 5, you unlock the final technique, which it hurls energy swords, refreshing stasis blade on hit. What this does is... For those of you who are anime fans, and this is the only way I can describe it personally, is in Bleach, there's a technique called Getsuga Tensha. That is what this is. This is, th this is Getsuga Tensho in Trove. And I'll show you all of these abilities now. So we have a nice dungeon here. I can show you how the ninja works, as well as... Uh, as, as well as uh, talk about a little bit about his role within the game. So you can see as I'm taking damage here, or sorry, as I'm hitting mobs, I'm getting these rings around my character. With multiple mobs, it's easier to collect three rings. Three, three rings is the maximum. If I use my mouse 2 ability, I go into stealth mode and I can throw shurikens. Each ring stands for one shuriken, so if I attack this guy... So I've only attacked him once, I can only throw one shuriken. Doesn't deal as much damage. Unfortunately, uh, if you just let me deal with this guy a minute, so that I do not die. There we are. So yeah, that, that, that's how the passive... just walked right into that one, and that one. So that's how the passive and the mouse to work. Now, the final ability, which is I'll, I'll show you now, the ultimate, is... Uh, it's an interesting little one. Um, if I just click this now, and I activate it... So this is this is it, and if I could do that, you can you can see the energy slices going there, couldn't you? That that's that's how um, that works. They do moderate damage. They're not too powerful. They're really fast, so you get high DPS out of it. But again, it's not the most damaging ability in the game. It's the, the Neon Ninja is more of an all-round class. Um, Something I, 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 I just want to move on to quickly and swiftly is that within all MMOs, and this this is an MMO, um, and it, it, yeah, I would go as far to say an MMORPG, then every character in the game has a role. Now, if I just open up my store, my, yeah, my store screen, I was going to say my score screen, my store screen, we, we can talk about the classes a little bit, um, just how the ninja fits in relation to the other ones. So you have the knight, which is a tank class. The ninja has no comparisons to the knight apart from the charge ability. I'm currently being attacked. Come on. There we are. Sorted. So yeah, the, the, the ninja has no comparisons to the knight apart from the charge ability, which is a a complete upgrade to the knight's charge ability. Then you've got these three classes here. Now, 
I might be wrong here. Um, on my last video, I was told that I was playing the ninja wrong, and I said quite rightly in the video that I probably most likely am. The Fae Trickster, I played in the alpha, and there's a video for the class spotlight that's up on my channel if you want to go see it, where what I, um, what I mention in that video is that the Fae Trickster has a gimmick, which is, as long as you do not get hit, you can do massive damage. And the Fae is given the abilities to not get hit. The Doppelganger ability, the Staves ability, it's all, it's all not to get hit. Then you've got the Gunslinger, who does very high DPS. Dracolite, again, has no direct um, link with the ninja, so we'll just ignore him. So yeah, you, you have the DPS and the, the, the gimmick of not being hit. Now, somewhere in between these two sits the Neon Ninja. For instance, he has the... Um, he has the skills to do a lot of damage, and he also has the skills to not get hit. If you can time them right, you can completely dodge attacks, and then retaliate uh, quite quickly and swiftly with the shuriken ability. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, for instance, right there, although I didn't actually miss the attack. Um, this is what I mean when I was saying that I, I'm probably not playing the ninja to the best of his ability. But I also want to try and kind of figure out where the ninja fits in terms of everything else. In comparison to the Fate Trickster, the Trickster doesn't have... Um, the ninja and the Trickster have the lowest health in the game. They have the lowest health pools in the game. And they do very high... I can't actually... I completely missed the fact I was um, out of Elysian Flask there, I must admit. Sorry about that, guys. So, yeah, as I was saying, I was completely out of the Elysian Flask there. Yeah, the, the, both the Ninja and the Fate Trickster have the lowest health pools in the game. I'm just going to find some random mobs here and show you, so, trying to show you some of the uh, abilities. You can see how much damage this is doing. This is a level 10 weapon, by the way. I'm also going to show you... I can't show you the stats. Brilliant. I, I'm doing a lot of physical damage, and I have increased health and health regen. So, my my items are contributing towards this. That's also why I have multiple jumps in the game. Back on to topic. Yeah, the, the, the Trickster and the Ninja have um, the lowest health pools in the game. However, the Trickster kind of makes up for this in the fact that she's probably the highest damage dealing class in the game. The Draglite is possibly this as well, but the the Trickster so far of what I have played, I haven't played any of the Draglite. The, uh, she is the most damaging class in the game, and she also has the ability to not get hit. The Ninja has the ability to not get hit, but it's not as intricate as the Trickster, and it's it's a lot more skill-based, whereas the Trickster is really easy to not get hit. Along with this, as I said, the Ninja doesn't have the damage to... Um, the, the Ninja doesn't have the damage to kind of benefit fit either. So I, I kind of find it difficult when I look at the, the classes within... For instance, if I go back to the classes uh, store page, I kind of find it difficult to see where the roles are in with the Neon Ninja. It seems like they've kind of thought through all the rest of them, and then you've just got the Ninja, which was like, it looks cool, but it has no individual role that isn't already filled. In most MMOs, you have a bit character, you build the character to a particular role, or perhaps they already have that particular role. Um... For instance, in Rift, I've chosen to play a, a hunter going to the ranger class, so I, I rely heavily on pets and AoE. That that sort of that is my role in that MMO. Whereas in Trove, you have the knight who is the tank, the duck gunslinger which is the DPS, the fate trickster who does a lot of damage, a lot more damage than the gunslinger, but also. Um, she, she has the abilities to not get hit at all. Very good support class. 
Draculite is a nuke. I've seen the Draculite used extremely well. Higher AoE can destroy many, many, many creatures very quickly. And then you've got the ninja, who he has the skills to not get hit and to also retaliate. But he he doesn't seem to have the DPS or the health values to benefit from it. And it's it's interesting where they've kind of put the ninja. I'm going to have to admit, I thought that the ninja would be a much different class to what it is. However... It's it's a nice class. It's nice to play. It's interesting to play. I I must admit I did have a lot of fun playing the Neon Ninja. It's it's but it's not my class personally. If you think that the Ninja is a class you would enjoy playing, then I hope you save up and buy it and enjoy it because you have no reason not to. It, the, the characters in this game aren't too difficult to get, especially now in the open beta. They've increased how much gold, how many uh, cubits you get per day. So it, it's quite easy to get characters and stuff now, which is it's a nice addition and a nice change. Anyways, guys, I have been Phoenix Cipher. I have been your host. I hope you've enjoyed this trove character spotlight on the Neon Ninja, and I hope you check out my channel for more. Go.